I believe we are live. Hello and welcome to Direct Mail Monday, August 1st, 2022. Steve Cypress here having some issues with my integrated camera, the laptop, whatever that means. Are we live? I think we're live. Just got a message. Welcome to Direct Mail Monday, August 1st, 2022. Steve Cypress here and I just had about an hour of frustration over the integrated camera of the laptop, whatever that means, and the drivers and who knows, but it's working now. Here we are, the eve of election day, 2022 here in Arizona, actually primary election day. See, I've been so inundated with everything political here. You can't turn on the TV, social media, phones got messages, text messages, emails, it's amazing. And since this is Direct Mail Monday, we're going to talk about how the mailbox fills up with political stuff. So, first of all, got these, which have not, and they say right on, they're not from any candidate, but I figured it out. I finally figured it out. I got two of these saying, get a ballot and vote. Independents and unaffiliated voters can vote in the August primary, which I was told when we first moved here about oh, a little over six years ago that since I refuse to be a member of either corrupt, ridiculous, entrenched, hypocritical political party, I can't vote in primaries. But then I got this in the mail, shared this a few weeks ago on a direct mail Monday, and it says I can, so I called up the secretary of whatever, and it said I can, that I can vote. Uh, but I have to pick one of the other parties because there's two separate elections, the primaries. And, uh, and so then I, I figured out what this is. This says... You live in a predominant, check this out, you live in a predominantly Republican district, request Republican ballot. So what they're saying is whether you are unaffiliated, Democrat, unregistered, whatever else they're saying here, uh, independent, request that, you know, uh, uh, what do they always say, uh, meddle with democracy or mess around with democracy or whatever, like, don't vote in the Democratic primaries, because first of all, the governor, I mean, in the, yeah, the governor race, the Democrat candidate just looks some things up. She's practically running unopposed. She's the current, I don't know, Secretary of State or something. And then the uh, Senate candidate is an incumbent Democrat who won in a special election two years ago. And so really it's all about choosing the Republican candidates here. But then when I realize, I see this postcard that says, hey, you can vote, your vote matters, pick a Republican ballot, has this red line through the Trump face thing. And then it says right on it, uh, oh, that's the big headline, stop extremism, which I'm guessing they are terming is Trump, uh, the extremist, and they want you to, whoever this is, says unaffiliated with any candidate or candidate's committee, they want to, things to get back to the good old Republican Party, which is just corrupt and inept and self-serving and uh, doesn't want to do anything uh, that's good for Americans or anybody else for that matter other than themselves and their donors, of course. And so that's because I, I saw on the news that's what's happening a lot is a lot of money is pouring in here to Arizona from Democratic donors into Republican races to try and defeat uh, the trump back candidate that is apparently leading in the elections and elect the establishment, uh, Mike Pence, uh, boring, uh, no charisma, good old, let's get back to the old crappy Republican Party days. Uh, and so, since I am of the personal opinion, just my political opinion, uh, that both candidates, both uh, parties suck, our government is completely corrupt and sucks, and therefore, I love the, let's get some, who, what do they call them? People that are unfit for office. Let's get them. Let's get some, because the fit ones suck. So let's get some unfit ones just to shake things up for a couple of years, four years, but obviously four years of Trump shaking it up didn't matter. They won't, everyone wants to go back to normal. And, and that was the whole Biden thing, wasn't it? Like, oh, get the adults back in the room, go back to sanity, go back to calm and cool. Is anything cool, calm, whatever? Like, no. What you're going back to is everything that sucks. So I'm like, let's put back some extremist, radical, non-politician, ridiculous people. And one of whom happens to be Trump's pick for governor, Republican, never ran for any political office. In fact, never ran anything. I don't even think she ran a business. She was on the nightly news here. 
for over 20 years, ever since I came down here. She's on like the 10 o'clock nightly news on one of the channels, and suddenly she's running for governor, and suddenly the poll show, she's in the lead. I'm like, I love that. Somebody who completely, no experience, never ran anything, doesn't know what she's doing. Like, let's send a message to Arizona, and hopefully other states send their messages like, politicians, the way things are, all suck. Get them all out. So this is when I can get them all out in the primary. I can vote against every uh, incumbent, which, of course, I plan to do. Uh, however, since this is Direct Mail Monday, I'm sharing some advertising marketing tips. That's one campaign that what you see here, it's not a single postcard. It's a campaign. It's two postcards. And I think, now that I realize, I also received some text messages and phone calls about how, hey, independent, you can register and whatever. So a campaign needs multiple steps, and in this case, multiple media, multiple steps. The postcard and the phone calls or the text messages. And here is the rest of the political mail I received. Check it out. All these postcards have come in in the past about two and a half weeks, and they're all for just two candidates, and none of them are from the candidates themselves. They say right on it, paid for something called Americans for Prosperity, not authorized by any candidate. It says that on every one of these not authorized by any candidate, not authorized by the candidate. So this one is not authorized by this candidate. I'll show it, although it shows his big picture on it, his big name, Rusty Bowers. Big American flag, principal, conservative, whatever. Uh, however, this is not endorsed by him, like on TV when they say, I am, this is my name, I endorse this thing, like expressly here says, not authorized by any candidate. Another one, Rusty Bowers again, front and back, full color, oversized, some bullet points or whatever the heck they want me to know that I couldn't care less to read, Rusty Bowers. Uh, a few more of these, here's another one, Rusty Bowers. That's three. Oh, there you go. Bowers, I'm guessing Rusty. Uh, principal conservative, not authorized by any candidate. And so there's four from him or from somebody who wants him. And up, oh, one more. Oh, re-elect. So he's the incumbent. So automatically, eh, you don't get voted for by me. Get rid of all of them. So vote Senator. Now we see Senator. So he's, oh, it said on that one too. So Senator Rusty Bowers, re-elect means do not re-elect anybody. Uh, however, there's five postcards endorsing one guy, not from one guy, and the rest, one, two, three, four, seven, in the last two and a half weeks, this is all for one of the governor candidates. I think it's pronounced Karen, I guess. Karen? Two, I've never seen that. Karen, Karen, and then Taylor Robeson. So, strange spelling of the first name, two last names, whatever, running for governor. Karen fighting for Arizona. However, this is paid for by Americans for Prosperity, not authorized by any candidate. Boom. Karen, what's her name? Taylor, oh, Robson, Robson, whatever it is. Uh, another one. She is standing strong for Arizona families. There she is again, not authorized. Postcard number two. Postcard number three, fighting for Arizona. Boom. Postcard number four, standing strong for families. This one goes vertical here, fighting for our, she's fighting a lot. Next one, stand, oh, and here she's standing strong. Oh, but on the other side, she's fighting. So that's five. This one, she is stand, she will stand strong. Oh, and on this one has a, a picture of Biden. Arizona has the worst inflation in the nation. Well, congratulations us. Uh, that what, what that's like saying who's the who's the shortest pygmy like what like, inflation sucks for everybody everywhere uh karen tiller will stand again standing strong oh against biden oh and there's biden again so we have the anti-biden that's easy right isn't he like the least he's certainly the least competent uh quote president as if he even knows what's going on or is in charge of anything at all um but he's inept and popular and there again, Arizona has the worst inflation in the nation. And so, but that is not only against Biden, that's for this person. I think it's Karen or Corinne or whatever her name is. 
seven postcards in two and a half weeks, just about every day this last week, with the election being tomorrow. And I wouldn't put it past opening my mailbox tomorrow and getting another one. I've gotten a postcard for this person. Also, phone calls every day, multiple ones. Uh, Carrie Lake is a newscaster that apparently Trump endorsed. And so, Lake is a fake. Lake is a fake. Uh, uh, phone calls, te text messages, like on and on and on, and all these postcards. Uh, my point, I talk about it often. People say, yeah, Steve, I tried direct mail, it didn't work. Did you send seven postcards in a short period of time, or even five, or even three, or even two, or did you just send out one piece and say, oh, it didn't work? Did you back up the postcard with some text messages, with some phone calls, which are robocalls, by the way. It's not like you're sitting there, she's sitting there, or somebody else. I actually answered one week or two ago, and it was like, hey, this is, I think, it was either her or somebody for her. That's why I think the name Robeson, I remember. It was not Robson, Robeson. And it was, uh, she's doing a town hall right now. Press one, and you'll be on the town hall. And I'm like, well, let's press one. Let's see what's going on. I always want to see what's going on. And uh, I was like, oh, now it was like, wait. And so I'm guessing they put out however many tens of thousands of these robocalls all at the same time, and anyone who pressed one, there was the town hall. If it was live, I don't know, but it had a few people talking about it how great she is, how long she's been around, how much she loves Arizona, blah, blah, blah. And then after about two minutes, I was like, that's enough of that. But anyway, we've got three separate political campaigns here. See what I did there? Political direct mail campaigns. Seven postcards in a short period of time for one gov gubernatorial governor wannabe candidate. Five postcards in a short time for re-electing a, I, this has to be a state senator, because the senator is a... Uh, uh, he's not our senator. Our senator who's up for re-election is uh, Kelly, the astronaut. And two, just to register to vote and vote against Trump. Stop extremism because put a red thing through Trump's face. So uh, that's a bunch of postcards for a primary all in a very short amount of time. We, we haven't gotten anywhere near the election yet, right? That's it's now August, so that's four months away. My goodness. So the airwaves... TV been jam-packed with more candidates than I can possibly imagine. Postcards, phone calls, direct mail, multi-step, multimedia campaigns. Take a lesson from these politicians. Oh, the last thing I'll show you is I actually also got two more things about the election. One, I got the uh, to the uh, I crossed out my name, so it, it had the name. Oh, no, it just has the address. Registered voters at this address. So here's a sample ballot from the government, from the Maricopa County Elections Department. Actual boring uh, government mailing. And then when I did call and signed up or registered, I think it was registered, but I picked the party, um, I actually received in the mail my official balloting material. Check that out, my official. I've never had a mail-in ballot before. They're like, oh, make sure you mail that in. I don't, well, make sure you vote absentee. I'm like, I'm not, I respond to these text messages, which I know they're, they're not getting the responses, but they're like, oh, you know, get your absentee ballot. I'm like, I'm not absent. I'm like, I'm not absent. I'm here. Tomorrow's election day. I'm not absent. I'm voting on election day. Pardon me, but I don't vote on election month, election week, two weeks before, a week after. I don't drop it in a box. I don't mail it around. I don't hand it to somebody to harvest. I go, I know this sounds crazy, I actually go on election day, I go somewhere to a polling place, and I vote. But I will be opening this up just to see what's going on, who are the candidates, I'll look a few things up, and then I'll be prepared tomorrow to pick uh, whoever I'm gonna vote for, which of course, unless somebody wins by one vote, by definition, it's not really gonna matter, but this is America, and I've always voted in every election. In every election, this is the first time here, at least, the first time I can remember ever uh, being able to vote in a primary. Because you got to, till now, you have to be a member of a party. And these major parties suck. You ain't going to be a member of those, but now I'm going to vote in the primary. Let's see what that's all about. So that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. Remember, campaigns, multi step, multimedia. If you're going to say something doesn't work, do it right first. Prove me wrong. Go ahead, do it the right way, and if you want help with it,
Go to MyMillionDollarAd.com, MyMillionDollarAd.com, M-Y, MyMillionDollarAd.com, and that's where I help you out with your advertising to make it effective. So you can do direct mail and not say, oh, direct mail doesn't work anymore. Do you think all the money pouring into this election and by this Americans for Prosperity, do you think they don't know what they're doing? They just sent out uh, uh, seven and five, 12 postcards in two and a half weeks for two different candidates because it doesn't work, because direct mail doesn't work? Like, take a hint. Direct mail works. I don't know if it'll work in particular for one or two or none of these candidates, but do it right or don't do it at all. And I suggest you do it right and you make a lot of money with it. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday, August 1st, 2022. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Thanks for being here today. Over and out. Bye-bye.